<coughs> Good morning. I want to do a quick preview video for the art auction we have online. And we're having some work done in the building, so it might be a little loud. It's definitely a little bit crazy here. Let me just walk through real quick. A beautiful, another big Russell Easterwood. This is all from a collection that was put together many, many years ago. And there's two pieces in the auction from him. Beautiful Hella Halhoun. He's a Nebraska artist. He's a Nebraska landscape. Has a the original gallery label of like fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars on it. This is a super cool piece. This is from uh, Dale Eldred made this. And you can see the lips are actually attached to the glass case. But this was made for the American in Paris Kansas City Ballet production back in eighty seven. We all have that. We also have good morning, Esther. You can say hi. <laughs> That's all the study piece he did for that sofa. It's still on their website as a set piece. And then that's obviously the, the sculpture he did. Um, this is a cool thing here. It's uh, called Glass Painting by Ron Rondau, I think. There are three Charles Banks Wilsons in the auction, signed lithographs. We have an amazing collection of studio pottery in this auction. Three cases are full, and there's more I'll show you. But we have some of the best Kenneth Ferguson pieces we've ever seen. This tea coffee, teapot, coffee pot is spectacular. Another big Ferguson piece. Another big Ferguson piece. Another big Ferguson piece. Another big Ferguson piece. <laughs> kind of get the idea. We also have Warren McKenzie pots. This bowl right here has kind of a leady look to it, but we're, we don't know. There's a mark inside the bowl. We don't know if that's uh, an artist mark or what. But a uh, pretty interesting piece. So on top right is another is another Ferguson piece, very unusual with the, the Cupid and the recumbent woman nude, very, very unusual, I've never seen that before. Um, that pair of shakers, I blank on the name, but Belgian Art Center, Ilona Rumo, Rumo, they're very cool, Rosart, uh, very cool crystalline pieces, and then more Dale Eldred pieces, so the hand painted crockery it isn't really studio pottery but it's not crockery either right so we put in this auction but these five bowls are all hand directed by by uh, Dale Eldred we're selling these pieces uh, directly from the Eldred estate when he passed uh, after the flood uh, his estate got put in storage basically things from the studio and collection so that's where all the Eldred pieces come from those are Irma Star there are two spectacular Otto and Vivica Hano pieces in the auction. Here's one. The other one doesn't fit in this showcase. This is an early Ferguson piece. It has a script signature on it. Or sorry, Ferguson, Warren McKenzie pieces. And all the way throughout. And the... Oh, Amy's talking to the... There are the other two. Charles Banks Wilson. We have paintings everywhere. You see we have... Pieces up high. Big David Gross abstracts are really cool. A lot of these came from the David Gross pieces. All came from over the um, small corporate collection that was mainly bought at the Hilliard Gallery over the years. And so that's what all of that is for. Ken Ferguson Adam and Eve piece from the Nelson Show. It has the fly with it. Another great pot. I know the artist. Here's the other. Final piece. Again, look how big this thing is. It's just huge. And applied decoration. It's graffito. Um, Multi-glaze. Uh, just a great, great thing. These are amazing. Gertrude Freiman collection of watercolors from a trip to Europe. There's Paris, uh, Paris images, Rome, Italy, um, New York. So it's just a great fine for one of our many sellers. Some good artwork here. The Kino piece there is a nice Kansas City artist. That Thirsty Earth is a really cool picture by Beeman. That's from the Dale Eldred's collection. Nora Othic pieces. Uh, some unknown. This is a nice um, Nesbit. It's a first day. Not signed, but it's a good early pressing of one of his books. 
A lot of people that come in are intrigued by this big boy. Um, the designer didn't know anything about it except that uh, the, the mother had dementia, but she knew that the piece was commissioned. These fabric pieces um, are basically sewn onto a canvas and then painted around. Um, but just the, you know, they were stored in the basement. There's all this rust and discoloration and diff different textures and textiles. It's just a really neat, neat piece. This is from the Eldred Estate. Um, some decoupage and artwork. Just a neat looking piece from the 60s. Nice city scheme. Uh, Hung Lu, uh, Kansas City artist for sure. Um, or did was artist in residence, I believe, is was actually an artist that did work in Kansas City. Another David Gross. I'm just trying to get this knocked out this morning. And here you can see an entire row of Dale Eldred prints. Some of these were sold together because there's big cracks in the glass. Uh, but just pieces you don't see very often. Oh, forgot the, uh, uh, we have several um, Amy Absher pieces in the auction. Uh, some directly from her, and some come from collectors. These are more of the pieces from that uh, corporate collection. Nice big David Gross landscape and big color works pieces. The Simmons piece is nice. The Jim Kiefer piece up there is really cool. He has become an artist, uh, Hasbro artist. He has does Monopoly and Scrabble artwork now, and his pieces sell for upwards of fifteen grand. Retired Disney artist up there, um, really really fun piece. Another group of Tawada pieces. Victor Vassarelli, of course. And then back on this wall, there's some other just nice pieces of good watercolors, good oils. Um, you can see that the, the gallery is kind of discombobulated right now. We were doing some work that turned into more work, which is often the case with old buildings. Um, and then the Mark Seidman piece here, another big studio pottery piece that uh, we didn't feel comfortable with the walls that we have here hanging her, but she's a pretty... Pretty cool uh, figure for sure. But if you have any questions about the artwork, please let us know. If you have any art that you're interested in selling, reach out to us as well. We'll have an open house on Thursday morning if you're in the area. Again, expect it to be a construction zone because it will be. But we have some great pieces to look at. Uh, and it's always better to see these pieces in person to get an idea of scale and the size and the actual true colors. We do our best with photography and, and editing and things along those lines to make it accurate. But sometimes you have to see it in person and then you can see Amy's eyes that she's painted. They're just amazing. So, wrap this up by walking down to the Eastward piece. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, excited about this auction. We have a coin auction going on online in the next couple of days. And a couple of big auctions after that, so it's going to be a hectic summer for us here at the auction. Have a great day. Where, where is my stop button? Oh, put my glasses on. <laughs>